European finals six to four. Did a Moyen. Semi-final match. It is at 77 kilos. Azerbaijan in the red. Armenia comes out in the blue. Sanan Suleimanov, the 26-year-old for Azerbaijan. Malkas Amoyan, the 24-year-old for Armenia, wrestling in his fourth world championship. Trying to get a grip, a two-on-one, the left arm there of Suleimanov, Amoyan. Very good with the two-on-one. That's one of his preferential ties. Goes right back on the arm, trying to drag and tug. Do you always like to wrestle a, a taller wrestler like Suleimanov or more of the stockier, compact, brick-type build of an Amoyan? Uh, it, it actually depends because um, in the standing position, I want a taller guy because um, the smaller guys, they can press from down and up, and that's better, better pressure forward. But if you're getting down in the patel position, if you have a smaller guy up in the air, he will go around. But maybe a taller guy, he can just grab the mat with uh, one of his feet or with the hand. But you'll maybe only get two points instead of four points with a throw. Opportunity here for Suleimanov to work parterre. He gets the first passivity point, trying to swallow up the waist area. Working off a wrench. Good job underneath. You see the constant movement from Amoyan. Good parterre defense, yet Suleimanov is able to catch him for a split second. No points awarded, though. He never controlled it as he rolled through. Exactly. It was a close one, but uh, Amoyan, he just uh, shaked his hip, hips and uh, at the late. That was a real active defense underneath from Malkus Amoyan. Constantly moving, which makes it very difficult for the wrestler trying to get a turn. He really wants that arm, doesn't he? Very much. But yeah, that's his, that's his uh, favorite arm. And when he get that arm, he don't get it back, and he got uh, good opportunities to make some points from there and you will make the your opponent tired with the arm also because it's two to one arm takes a toll maybe not so much in this first period but in the second period over time it wears you out exactly and he has been on that arm a lot here in this first period maybe setting up something a little bit bigger later on final few ticks of the clock down to three, down to two. The passivity point has been it. Suleimanov with the one nothing lead after one. Fourth world championship appearance for Suleimanov. Three-time European medalist winning in Rome in 2020 and then a couple of bronze medals in 22 and 21. Talked about his world silver in Oslo a couple of years ago. Amoyan, one of those guys, he's only 24, but it sure does feel like he's been around a while, and that's just a, a compliment to how good he has been. He broke onto the scene at a young age. Exactly, and we see him all the time at the at the medal matches uh, in the European Championship and World Championship, so, yeah. He's done such a great job at the Continental Championship, back-to-back -back European finals appearances. Back-to-back -back golds dominating that continent. Here we go, period number two, and we are underway. And look at the purpose behind Suleimanov off the whistle. Really trying to impose his will and control the center of the mat. Oh, but he got caught, and Suleimanov then caught him. Puts him over to his back. 
Boy, it looked like the Azerbaijan wrestler was going to be in a little bit of trouble, but boy, did he ever react. And then he countered it. Feet to back for four. Now he tries to jump over to the side, but a huge development early in this second period. Wow. And this is just what he needed Sulemanov, because otherwise he will maybe have went down in the potato position. How about his balance? Wow. I thought he was in real trouble to be able to counter like he did. Yeah. Now yeah, go from balance, static movement to explosive and throw another man. Boy, this style of wrestling, it just showcases the type of athletes <laughs> they are. They are amazing athletes. Strength, power, coordination, toughness, endurance. It was a surprising move because uh, Amoyan is always so calm and just controlling the match in his tempo and everything, but then suddenly. Yeah, I'm sure that's still being replayed in the back of Amoyan's head. How did that happen? But he's going to have to quickly forget about it. Still has time to make some things happen positively for him. Down five, minute 15 to go. If you're a Moyen, do you change up your approach? I mean, he's been hitting the two-on-one all night. He hasn't been able to steer Suleimanov anywhere with it. At some point, do you bail on that and try something new? Yeah, I think he's looking for just a small opening to get on his back, get him down in Patel, or just a throw. Just anything will work right now. He's looking for everything. Now, keep in mind, he has had no opportunities to go parterre. Sulimanov has done such a nice job here in this second period to prevent that from happening. You know, so the old school, you always hear, well, each wrestler gets one opportunity on top. Well, here's a perfect example. If you are the aggressive wrestler like Azerbaijan has been, then that's not necessarily the case. Yeah, exactly. And when you are throwing for a four-pointer, and it shows the referee that you are an active wrestler. Final few moments here. And it looks like that is going to be it. Malkus Amoyan will concede the final few moments. And a appreciative Sanan Suleimanov moves into the finals. And Frederick, did you see this type of start from Azerbaijan going three for three tonight? Um, it's a it's a powerful nation um, within uh, Greek Roman, but uh, yeah, it turns out well. Wow.